Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So you may notice I have a sans lippy today. I have no lipstick on as yet because I'm mega excited to have a couple of the new Louboutin So Glow lipsticks to try today and give you my thoughts on these super expensive refillable lippies from Louboutin. Do they live up to the hefty price tag? We'll see. So first off, I decided to order from Louboutin's own website as opposed to a retailer for a couple of reasons. One, I wanted the pink case, the lipstick case, and it was only available there. It wasn't available in the other places that are stocking this collection. So I ordered from their website. The second reason is because generally with these sort of luxury brands, when you order direct from their website, you get just a way better packaging. You get like glorious external box, beautiful tissue, but it just adds to the experience for me. And if I'm going to pay the same price that I would at a retailer's, why not get the bougie packaging thrown in? That's what I always say. It kind of just adds to the experience when you're paying such a high price tag for a lipstick or any beauty product. The packaging for me, it just is part of the price tag, you know, it makes it feel luxury. It makes it feel worth it. This is the box this came in. Now I realise it's only an external box, like get a grip, it's fine, but it just was like not really hyping me up for what was inside is what I'll say. I've definitely 100% received much more gorgeous, lovely or just nice packaging from the likes of Dior and even like Lancome, even, even MAC packaging it looks a little more sophisticated and classy than that so it just really wasn't what I was expecting and then inside the products were just wrapped in plastic wrapping so it was just that was not what I was expecting I was expecting it to be gorgeously packaged in a gorgeous Louboutin box an external box so that just felt like instantly I was a bit like hmm, that's a bit disappointing it's just not what I was expecting and I feel like for the price tag and the brand that kind of doesn't match up. I, I don't know, maybe that's just me, but that was the first thing I noticed. So inside the internal packaging is gorgeous. It's glorious. This is the case that I chose. So I went with the pink. There are three colors. There's red, yellow, and pink. I believe there's only three that I have seen so far. Maybe there's more coming. Have you seen any others? Do you know something I don't? So here she is in her little Louboutin box. This I can get on board with. This I think is gorgeous. So essentially you purchase your case and then you purchase the refill or the lipstick shades that you want to pop in here and these are refillable. So the case is going to set you back £40 and then the lipsticks themselves are £44. So I picked up two different colours to try. This is the little box that the actual lipsticks come in and this is their packaging which I quite like it actually has the shade I don't think you're going to be able to see that unless you have the eyes of a hawk but it has the shade on the bottom which is useful because if you were going to pick up a lot of colors and that's an easy way to grab what you want in your drawer if you can see the colors on the bottom so I can't twist this up it has this little cap which is great because if you only want to buy one case and then lots of refills you want them to be able to store nicely and actually look nice and know what color is what so I feel like they got all of that perfect these will stand up nicely in a drawer they'll store nicely with a little cap on top you can see what color it is and it's keeping the lipstick nice and safe in there they have that gorgeous parma violet scent which I'm a big fan of you can also pick up charms and like a necklace like a chain to attach to the component but that just didn't really appeal to me there are all different charms and chains and just little embellishments that will attach to your component if you if that's your jam but I just didn't feel like I needed a shoe to hang off of here but maybe you do that's completely your choice this component feels heavy when I first saw these I just kind of I didn't love it when you compare it to the gloss I just let me show you closely. So I just felt like the gloss just looked a lot more bougie and gorgeous but actually in reality this is 
beautiful it it looks much more luxurious and gorgeous in person than the pictures which I think look a little just plasticky and maybe like cheap but in person I was really pleasantly surprised as to how beautiful they are and it is very heavy like this is weighty it has a lot of weight to it very very heavy luxury and luxurious feeling the lid just pulls off and then inside it has the red and the logo which is a nice little touch in there didn't know if you can see it maybe there can you see it <laughs> but yeah very pleasantly surprised by the detail and just the weight of it that won me over that partially made up for the cardboard box that arrived in in a very battered state <laughs> so the two shades i chose are of course two orange slash peachy colours. I chose Orange Euphoria and Burning Tangerine. Excuse my voice, I'm losing my voice a little bit. I've had a bit of a cold so bear with me. So when using these what you essentially will do is take the lid off of the component and then you need to pull the cap and the base, there we go, off of the bottom of the refill and then it should just in yeah perfect let's just see how that is on ideal so yeah very very easy everything clicked on perfectly and it looks really lovely with the Louboutin logo on there and this is burning tangerine now in the component so I'll give this a swatch wow I'm pressing really lightly because I'm terrified of snapping it that would just be imagine <laughs> heartbreak so yeah loads of pigment in there with a very light touch let's get this on the lips and see what we think they do have that like strong palmer violet scent it's i love it but do know if you're sensitive to scents fragrances it's definitely one that you're going to notice and it's going to linger around once it's on your lips for a little while so bear that in mind i mean it feels delightful it's very glossy feels very very comfortable and hydrating and just smooth on the lips but the pigment was amazing like for such a you know glowy luminous generally these lipsticks will be like a light or a medium opacity but this is like definitely fully opaque in like one swipe type of color and that's a really lovely pretty color I think this will be a great autumn lip it's bright but it's not like summer bright like the next one's gonna be so that was quite easy to get out of there as well let's now try orange euphoria the toughest bit is to get the base off that's kind of the one that needs the most yank and it clicks in really easily and here is orange euphoria in the component give her a swatch also oh can you see that just a bit more of an orange tone there and a bit more punch, brighter colour. That's so pretty. Component's actually really nice to hold while you're applying as well. It feels nice in the hand. Okay. That's gorgeous. Wow. Well, that's my favourite of the two, if you couldn't tell. That's beautiful. Again, a couple of passes, but it's giving me like the opacity, the brightness. It's very comfortable. And despite, again, it being a glowy luminous lipstick it's really easy to get quite a precise lip line which is not always the case with these types of products it's got a lovely nice applicator i'm really happy with that it's beautiful goes with my nails kind of these are a bit more 
of a pumpkin, but it's in the same family. So close-up swatches we have Burning Tangerine and Orange Euphoria. I think they look a little like more similar on camera than they do in person and on the lips. But this is gorgeous. It feels so lovely on the lips. Very, very lightweight, hydrating feeling, comfortable. Like my lips in no way feel tight or like heavy or anything like that. Giving like a super juicy, healthy lip as well. Like it's not soaking into lip lines. It's not bleeding or anything like that. So there you have it. I am really, really pleased with these. I kind of thought I wasn't really gonna love the component. I just think it looked quite like thin and light plastic is what I was kind of expecting from the photos, but it feels and looks much more like classy and classic and beautiful in person. And yeah, I really, really love the color of this component. I love how easy and everything goes in and out and actually how they've considered that you mainly want the one component and lots of lipsticks. So they've made them really easily storable and you can keep them clean and hygienic with their little caps and also easy to see what you've got with the names on the bottom. I think all of that has been done really, really nicely. And the lips that I chose are gorgeous the colors that I picked I just am really really happy with both of them I would definitely pick up more of these and actually once you've bought your case you don't have to buy another case one is all you need you can then store your refills really nicely so it's not as much of a outlay each time if you want to pick up extra shades so I hope they bring out more shades because there was only a couple that I really felt like I was drawn to I'd love to see some more nudes as well in this collection because it's a lovely formula really comfortable really flattering as well on lines and things and yeah I just found them really really nice to apply so please let me know if you've tried this formula and what shades you've picked up because I am always up for a recommendation I hope you found this video helpful and I'd love to see you in the next one otherwise take care for now bye bye bye, bye.